Welcome back to the news today. This is One on One. Lod is a city in the center of Israel with a mixed population of Jews and Arabs. But this city is characterized as a place of poverty with one of the highest crime rates in Israel, including murder, theft, drug trafficking, and domestic family violence. One distinction in the Arab-Israeli population in the is the phenomenon of murder in the name of family honor. Women who acted outside of the social and family traditions, for example, having an affair murdered by family members. Our guest uh, on one on one tonight is uh, Samah uh, Salaymi Igbari, an Arab feminist activist in Lod from the Mendel Leadership Institute. Good evening. Thank you very much for coming. Good evening. You know, it's um, unbelievable that in 2014 this phenomenon is not over, it still exists. How come? Well, um, I think that uh, gender, uh, you know, violence against, against women at all, it's, it's um, very uh, critic and uh, bad. Uh, the ab women abuse in our society, in the Israeli society in general, is a um, disturbing phenomenon. And murder of women and their background is as a gender. We, we know now as a feminist, as women, as Arab women, that women in Israel is killed and uh, also all over the world because they are women. Uh, the name uh, or the term that we are fighting is family honor. Uh, it's, it's used it's by the... Contradicting. Yeah, it's by the media and the Israeli society. And uh, we are in the, uh, inside the Arab society fighting uh, the use of this uh, um, in a term because it's accusing women by by what's happening to them and uh, we know there is no honor combined by uh, murder and uh, uh, when they accuse when the police uh, use this uh, term they used to uh, tolerate uh, the phenomena and uh, that's b bring them you know to uh, to accept that as a, as the our part woman of the tradition, yeah as part, a, of the part of their tradition and uh, we know that numbers the numbers is afraid we we are we lose lost last one decade in Ramle and Lod. This is very small cities inside Israel in the center of Israel 37 victims uh, um, in, uh, in two cities, it's a huge number. In Israel, in general, 20 women, 22 in 2013, were killed uh, because they are women, and 50% uh, of them, they are Arab women. So, so Arab women is killed if five or if five or four uh, uh, percent more than their uh, uh, real uh, percentage in the society so uh, but we when we talk about what happened after the crime we we trying to know from the police did they solve the problems did they solve the case and put someone in jail, in jail. yeah and and then that we discovered that each one of ten uh, crimes against Arab women is solved that means that nine or eight murders criminals are outside and living their normal life without paying or being punished by the society. This is a wrong message that the police and the officers of the police and the welfare services are sending for the Arab women, because the Arab women are fighting the violence against them. They are going according to all of the statistics and research that has been done recently. It shows that the women go to the police, go to the welfare services, and go to women uh, uh, NGOs to complain. But the police just to complain. is afraid, actually, to maybe Get, yeah, getting more involved in a culture that it doesn't. That it, well, well, it, I, I don't want to be in, in, in you know, uh, instead of them, the police. Uh, job is very bad. As I'm a social worker, my job is very difficult as well, but it's not accused not to get involved. The police are in, in this society, in this democracy society, is uh, in charge of my welfare, my security. And if I have problems with, with someone who's uh, uh, abusing me sexually, financially, physically, or uh, um, uh, uh, verbally, I, ha I have to go to the police. This is that. Uh, this is that garden. They, they can't be sensitive, but understanding. You, you know? cannot be an understanding towards a phenomenon like that. Like you said, it's contradicting that the honor and the killing and the murder. Uh, what I'm, I'm trying to understand is how come in 2014 this the, we're so advanced today. We are work working. Women are going out. You know, having an affair 
um, having a boyfriend, have, loving someone should be something very, very natural, should be something very normal. How come the Arab society is not going ahead with the with time i think um, that arab women are going uh, ahead with time i think that uh, you are misleading the uh, audience by saying that they have an affair because lillian masoud who was the woman who was killed uh, yesterday she is married and her husband was a victim of violence and he he was killed fi five months ago and now she is killed because she was divorced from someone and she chose to to have a, a relationship a legal relationship with another guy. This is, this is normal. It's not having affairs, not having a, a, a illegal relationships, with, which I, I can understand if it happened in each place in the world, nobody can uh, come to me and say, you say that, you did that, I, I have to uh, punish you. And uh, I, know, I know each case in the last 10 years, we know that women were killed because they want to be divorced. I have women that want to, she fight as a normal uh, woman, as a woman, as Jewish woman, uh, to have her children back, to, to have her home back, and they killed her. I have another victim that she did, refused to hide uh, d uh, drugs in her home, and she was killed. So saying that she has an affair and naming that, that is uh, a family honor, it's, it's misleading the audience. And so when we say that uh, family honor, it's like we want to understand, we want to be culturally sensitive uh, as a society, so and we it? learn to lack, be tolerant. Is it a is lack of education in the society? Is it a lack of education that we're giving to men in the society, to the Arab men in the society? That it, I, We know that the Arab culture is patriarchal. It's uh, more, um, uh, let's say, determined by men. Um, but is I it think our our world is determined by men. That's controlled by men. Yeah, it's okay? controlled by men. But in the Arab society, it's women even around more. the world are losing their life because they are women. The women in England, Pakistan, the U.S., Canada, all over the place, all over this planet, women are killed because they are women because they decide to control their life. And someone, some men around them, mainly the most in their environment, know and disagree with them and. Using that violent to, uh, in order to control them. This is this is the equal. Uh, uh, this is this equal is what's happened. Yeah, this is what happens again. But uh, I can't. Uh, um in, in your uh, introduction, you say that Lod is suffering from poverty, crimes, and illegal weapons everywhere. So why why it's it's um, uh, we are surprised that women children and men falling victim to this illegal weapon this is that when 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 we as a society talk the language of violence we all pay the the, the, uh, the price and women and children they are the weak wrinkle in this society and it's natural that they are the first to pay the uh, the check so so what i'm telling you and the old people and also I'm telling the police I have a, a very hard discussion with with the uh, police uh, officer and the mayor this day that he in, our mayor and Lord says that I something like I agreed to kill Arab women but not in my uh, uh, prestigious neighborhood this is an awful thing to say to the press that because because the last victim was in his uh, prestigious uh, neighborhood. neighborhood so so he can accept violence against Arab women, but not nearby him. So he is not taking the responsibility. Before we're finishing, one message that you can transfer to women, to especially to Arab women, that you can do it in, in 30 seconds, what would you tell them? I know, and you know, that when you have the right to live, nobody have the right to take the, your life from you. And we are here to, to help. There are lots of NGOs, there are lots of women's centers, uh, call someone talk to someone someone have the responsibility and can help you and i encourage them to keep talking about their problem and seeking for help samah uh, thank you very very much for this uh, conversation uh, with us and yes with this message uh, don't keep silence just get up and say something thank you very much for being with us tonight tomorrow we will be here at the same time same place from the jaffa fort israel have a great night